and just a little bit about me. My name is Chris and I really, really like photography. And what you're watching now is what I hope will be the first of a series of short videos that will showcase my home region of Eastern Kentucky. Well, that didn't work out very well at all. Um, six years later, I've done maybe 20 videos on YouTube, a few sporadic shorts. So it goes. But I've been practicing photography a lot. I'm mostly film photography here as of late, probably for the past, I don't know, six or seven months. So I was looking at my shelf the other day, just going over the, the collection to see what I wanted to use next. And I came across uh, this guy, this little jewel of a camera, this little Nikon FG from the 80s. It's got a 50 millimeter lens with it, very well put together lens, very sharp lens, very easy to use. As I was looking it over again, kind of reacquainting myself with it, I realized it's got film in it. In fact, it had probably about 15 shots left in it. So I just went out, finished the roll off. And uh, it occurred to me, you know, I haven't done a, a video on YouTube for a while. So I thought maybe I'd bring you all along for the ride this time and developing and seeing what's on this forgotten roll of film that's probably, I'm gonna estimate that's probably a couple years old. And what is it, you might be asking? Well, it's actually a roll of Berlin 400 film. I know next to nothing about the film. I don't remember buying it. I don't know how long I've had it. The box is gone, so I don't know what the expiration date was. Like I said, I think it's probably, I think I loaded that that camera probably a couple years ago. The only thing I know about the film itself, it's a Lomography Berlin Kino 400 black and white film. 35 millimeter, it's a panchromatic black and white negative film. It has rich and broad tonal range, fine grain and high sharpness. So that's, that's what I know about this film. So I haven't developed any black and white film in quite a while, so I'm kind of anxious to go back into it. Uh, just last week, I got a package of uh, developer, so we're gonna, we're gonna mix some chemicals up. Maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll enjoy the process of making a YouTube video again so much that I will follow through on that initial promise of Chris in his 30s, telling you that I'm probably gonna do this in a, every month, every month. There's gonna be a, a new YouTube video. There's not gonna be a new YouTube video every month. So this does not wanna come apart. I think I got it. No. no. It should not be this difficult. I'm afraid of damaging the film that's in the canister. That would suck. You know, I watched a video on how to do this. It's a lot easier on the video. Oh, I definitely damaged some of the film too. I can feel it. See, the problem was there's a couple of sprocket holes that got damaged as I was getting getting the canister apart. I can, I can only imagine what the canister looks like right now. the film developed and I'm happy to report that there are images on it. I can tell though however that a few of them are definitely underexposed or probably uh, some are going to be different thrown away. That's like that with every roll though. There are images though so that's nice. Nothing left to do now but scan them in see what we got. Let's, uh, let's get Lightroom going and check out these photos that I got on this roll of Lomography Berlin 400 black and white film from a couple years ago, I guess. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and imported everything, so let's go ahead and uh, hop into the develop module and just get the, the basic neg negative conversion preset going. All right, well, that, that image is not, <laughs> I don't think that image is going to turn out so well. All right, I'll go ahead and synchronize everything uh, just to get it going. Okay, let's go back to this first one. Uh, I think it seems to be a little backwards here. Okay, well, 
This is uh, this is actually an image I shot just uh, about a week ago. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened to that. I guess my exposure was really off or something. Yeah, that's uh, that's not going to be usable. Moving on. Also not usable already. Uh, yeah, here's this is also an image I shot um, about a week ago. So add some black into it. Add some white. So you can tell that there's something there. Uh, maybe do some work. I don't know. All right, moving on. Some horses. This is a farming implement of some time, some kind. You know, I can't tell if my exposure is off or if I just messed something up. I'm sure this is user error. Um, I, I looked up this type of film, uh, some, some example images before I started developing and uh, none of them turned out this, this poorly. So yeah, there's a user error happening here. Um, I'm start, certainly I'm gonna fiddle around with it a little bit and see what I can pull out of this, but um, just looking at the grain, look at that grain. You know, just that's, that's not really anything. Just moving on. Okay, so this gives me a good idea of when the original roll was was shot as well. So early 2023 for sure. This is in Harlan County, just outside of the town of Lynch, I believe, or maybe it's in Lynch. So I was just driving around uh, Harlan County that day, took some photos. Here is. Yeah, here's a shot the same trip in Perry County. So this is definitely early 2023. This is in uh, Knott County. This, is, this one actually didn't turn out too bad. Yeah, I think I may five star this one and come back to it. Okay, so here's uh, an image from Hyman as well. Yeah. That's not terrible. I think I can work with that one. Yeah, yeah, it's not really anything. Oh, okay, so this was a, an image from Bell County, Kentucky. This is looking over uh, the town of Pineville. So, yeah, pretty sure that's where this is at. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure I, I messed up something with the development here. And that's a, that's a pretty big bummer on my part. Oh wow! So yeah, this is like several different photo trips. This is um, this is actually my old my old school. This is uh, Cordia, the old Cordia school in Knott County, Kentucky. That's where this is at. I, 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 shot, I remember all these because I also shot them in digital. And there's another building from outside of Cordia School. There's another one. Now this one's yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, so this was, um, actually I'd forgotten that my, my friend Ronald Gent was with me when we were shooting, uh, this, when we were photographing the school. Um, if you don't know uh, Ron's work, I would I would definitely recommend going to his page. I'll put his, his pages, his social media links here. He does really good work, really good landscape work. He does a lot of abandonment, uh, that type of work. Uh, good photographer here in Eastern Kentucky for sure. Moving on. This is uh this is the school where I, I I went from kindergarten through twelfth grade. Yeah, this is the playground we used to be, used to play on that merry-go-round. These slides, pretty cool. Pretty cool to see this. Had forgotten I even shot it in film. Yeah, there's the there's the merry-go-round. Wow. Mm, yeah, so this is the old library. Um, I'm not even gonna mess around with this one that much. I don't believe something. Yeah, look at these. Look at this. Same with that one, so just leave it as is. Yeah, this is a different room with a bunch of old textbooks uh, from back in the day. Oh, here's one of the old classrooms. Oh, actually, um, hmm. This one actually turned out kind of nice. This is, I'm, I've only done the basic editing. I've applied the, uh, the black and white negative conversion uh, preset to it. Just my own preset. See what we can do to it. So it looks to me as if it needs, needs to be brightened in the shadows a little bit. So we'll just do an overall exposure bump. Mm, not too much. Lower the whites a little. 
Just looking at the histogram there. Or bump the whites a little, I should say, not lower them. We'll add some contrast in. Maybe a little texture. A little bit of clarity. You can see when you, you add texture and clarity, you're really bumping up that grain. Look at that grain. That's, uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's, that's a lot of grain. It's alright though, I don't, I don't mind it at all in this particular image. Yeah, I think this one's got a little potential. I may work with it a little bit more. Oh yeah, here's you can see here where I really damaged. I'm kind of embarrassed by that, to be honest with you. I've been developing film since 2016, I believe. So I've got eight years of developing my own film. Um, I'd never come across a canister like that before, that plastic canister where I just didn't know how to open it. And I, I thought I knew how with a, a YouTube video I found. And it, You live and learn. Got one image left. Yeah, this is an old typewriter. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the roll of film. I think there's a couple of images that I might be able to work with, do something with. Look at that old car. That car's great. Um, uh, mostly, it's a, it's a, it's a. I'll chalk the film up to a learning experience, especially the development part of it. But anyway, I've got the film out of that Nikon FG now, and I can use it to shoot something else. So. I appreciate you guys. If you've stuck around this long, it's been great. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you again sometime in the future.